Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We are back with some more Tom McDonald. This is Anxiety Spoken Words. Uh, you ladies have anything to say or add? Uh, no, I'm excited for this. I've heard it several times. But yeah, you, you haven't heard this, right? I haven't. No, I haven't. Yeah. The only spoken words I've heard are the one I, I haven't even listened to the death. Okay, Carol got me death threats. Uh, she ordered that for me, and I haven't even listened to it yet because all the spoken words are on there, and I don't want to listen to them until we do the reactions. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. Hang on. Do, yeah, and you do. You should always. I feel like listen to a CD from start to finish, like all the way through. I'm using without it like skipping song. songs because I feel like it's like a whole experience. Uh, because that was the way it was meant to be listened to, I feel Do it like. quickly. I'm recording. So I what idea. is that important? That's okay. You'll be able to listen to them once we get done <laughs> with these today. And it's making yeah. me really Riley, I'm in the middle of recording. No, really, literally right now. I'm so sorry, guys. That's what happens when you have kids. It's okay. So, um, you know, something was apparently very important. So uh, I apologize. Um, did we talk about uh, it being Tom Week? Oh, yeah. Like it's H-O-G Week. It's H-O-G yeah. Week. Yeah, we're yeah. we're reacting. This whole week will be nothing but reactions to uh, Tom, Tom's fan base, his friends, you know, things like that. Everybody who yeah. represents HOG will be represented in our channel this week. That's right. Right there. Tom McDonald week. And HOG. Tom McDonald. HOG. Hangover H -O -G. gang. Right there. Hangover gang. H -O -G Tom McDonald. Shirt. Let's go. <laughs> I'm very excited about Hangover Gang. Look, <laughs> look at me, and I'm not. I'm not wearing one today. That's terrible. It's just. It's really hot yeah. in here, and they're thicker shirts, and I couldn't do it. I, I was too hot. So, well, I was um, telling. I was telling them and Lacey that I haven't. That you got me the the death threats CD, and I haven't listened to it yet because I'm waiting for us to get through the spoken words because all of them are on the CD, and I didn't want to do it until yeah. we react it since I haven't heard them yet. So now, after this, yeah. I'll get to listen to my CD. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> there you go. Yay! So cool. All right. So you ladies yeah, ready? Well, let's get into it. Yeah. Yeah. I guess let's 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 go. I wake up feeling panicked. My pills are in the cabinet. Takes all the strength I have to just ignore them as I pass it. Man, I hope this feeling passes soon. Been hellin' back. It's barely noon. I'm scared to go outside. Shit. I'm surprised I even left my room. And it feels like no one understands how bad I'd love to join my friends. It's hard to breathe, I'm anxious, and I'll end up staying home instead. The doctor hasn't helped me much. He signs his name, I buy the drugs. I'm feeling weird, I take one out, it makes me feel comfortably numb. Man, I can't handle my emotions like I used to, it's all different now. I start to sweat, I feel confused, my fingers shake, my heartbeat pounds. And I'm feeling claustrophobic every time the closet closes because my skeletons are in there, so I have to leave it open. I'm just nervous over nothing, even shit I can't control. I used to love to be in public, now I'd rather be alone. And even though it's difficult, it's probably for the best. If I didn't make a change, I would have drank myself to death. Then I wake up feeling better than I did the day before. But then it hits me out of nowhere and almost knocks me to the floor. A heaviness, a readiness to get back into bed. A sadness that I can't explain, a cloud over my head. My deepest, darkest fears feel like they're filling up an ocean and I'm floating on the surface with no hope to keep me going. I've been down on myself. Man, I forgot how to believe in me. I never asked for help, now I just struggle with it secretly. I wish that it was something I could sweep under the carpet, trying to hide it all the time only makes the battle harder. Man, I lived a lot of moments that I probably should have cherished. Now they seem so far away from me, I'm angry and embarrassed. I can't even tell my parents, they don't need to keep on worrying. My mama and my papa don't deserve to have to bury me. I hope the pills I have will hold me over for a while. I'll keep searching for the strength to find my smile. Damn. Hi, we're Visible, the wireless company that makes things visible. With us, what you see is what you get. So a, a one-line uh, plan with unlimited data, just $25 a month, taxes and fees included, means just that. All this it's, with I mean, no hidden like fees. Really and yep, it's all on one line. To anxiety too, but like, yeah. Right. Is, is my favorite. I'm just spoken words. My too, my too. 
Mine too. And, that, and the only one I haven't seen yet is the, that Screens, but I don't know if we'll screens. be getting that one yeah. today or not. But I, I have not yeah. heard that one. Only one I haven't heard. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. A long time since I heard it. I'm pretty sure it's, it's not on his YouTube. It's on his Facebook. Sorry, guys. If y'all see me messing with the screen a lot, it's because we were running a different uh, program for recording today, and it's it's a learning curve. But it, it, we can all see the video better because we've had some problems in the past where they couldn't see the video as clear as I could. So we decided to try something different today. But, yeah. So up next, we're going to be doing Not Alone. Uh Anything, ladies? Yeah, uh, I, I just, I think you're gonna, I think you're really gonna like this one. I think you're gonna really relate to it. I think a lot of people will. And well, just the title alone sounds something that might hit me, yeah. might hit me in my feelings. I, yeah, this one, this one really hits me like in the gut every time. All right, y'all ready? Let's see what Tom yeah. has for yeah. us. Yeah. Ready, I'm walking out the darkness and I barely made it Hope this reaches all the people who cannot escape it I was just like you I was young like you I was trying to numb the pain I was afraid of facing I was trying to run away from the hurt I didn't know what I would do if living felt any worse I tried the pills and the therapy and none of it worked I know it kills but I want you to know that you ain't the first your people can't relate if they ain't felt it themselves. It feels like everything they say when you complain doesn't help. You're sinking deeper every day when you're awake, you're in hell. You think you changed along the way, but now it's too late to tell. It's like you were rolling with the thunder and bell. Cause when the lightning started crashing, I guess you did as well. Your demons kicking down the door, they're never ringing the bell. They just keep tapping on the windows till they fall out the sails. I know you're feeling defeated, you try to keep it a secret, your weakness got you believing You need a doctor for treatment, but taking pills ain't convenient So you keep looking for reasons to go and flush them down the drain and find the faith You keep breathing, you lay and look at the ceiling all night when you should be sleeping But you've been knee deep in pieces of dreams and failed achievements You keep repeating the moments when you were beaten and broken and now you're bleeding emotion You just want someone to hold you, well me too Cause I've been standing on the edge trying not to jump I only say it so you know you aren't the only one. The only thing that killed the pain was smoking weed and getting drunk. Before I knew it, I had drank a case a day for 18 months. I was sleeping with a beer by my bed. Last call was all that I could hear in my head. I know there's too many of us drinking to try and forget, but who the fuck are we gonna cheers if we drink till we're dead? And when you finally get sober, you find the friendships are over because you don't have nothing in common. If you're not getting loaded, you call them brothers, you call them family, you call them your blessings, and now they call and you ignore the phone and that's called depression. They try to tell you your misery is not an excuse And you just wish they could spend a day trying to walk in your shoes Just know you're not alone, I feel the same way as you It isn't you against the world cause I'm fighting them too It's like you're losing control until you drive right off the road And then when the vehicle rolls again you get thrown out the holes in it Then you notice your bones are broken and all of your clothes are wet Soaking with gasoline, light a smoke and explode with it Till the day that we're ghosts, you'll never be on your own Cause I'll be standing in your corner till you need me the most I was put on this planet to lift you up when you're low And you have done the same for me, so I'll be keeping you close I love y'all Wow By the way, yeah, Carol, I want to tell you thank you for picking that, that DVD Switch that to scene. Chrome to load your favorite sites fast So you can browse with ease Fa Thank you for picking Death Threats for me because that having all the spoken words is, is very something special. I, I really have enjoyed the spoken words. I I, I said it last time that I, he needed to make this uh, a, an album, and he did, and I didn't even realize it. So, <laughs> yeah. so thank you for yeah. picking. And this, the funny thing is, is she picked that album way before we even decided we were listening to these. <laughs> yep, I so. did. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, because I was trying to pick which one. I'm like, you know what? Let's just start with the first one. Like, let's start with the first one. And then that way, you know, you build it up and make sure you fill in all your gaps. Because I know you have some of them, but you have to fill in the rest of the gaps. So I was like, yeah. why not the first one? Let's do, let's do that one. So um, I really appreciate it. I can't wait to listen to it all. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait for you to listen to it all, too. It was like... <laughs> I'm so, like that's why like I'm super excited for him to come out with another album because like I it, you know as I bought all the albums and like we're listening to him it was just like like even though I came in late like it was like experiencing those first few years like I don't know 
through different eyes because like you get to know him so well through his music and there's so many good songs and revealing songs vulnerable songs through those albums that like uh you just don't like you don't get that anymore you know what i mean to actually get a physical album and be able to listen to start to finish like that's such a that was such an amazing thing that i like i remember as a a child and a teenager like being at the record store or like you know like blockbuster music or something like that in the mall on tuesday when the cds would come out you could buy a single cd or a cassette cassettes were 99 cents Backstreet the, the Boys. CDs were dollar ninety nine. Yes, and, and, and you would have like it would come with the A and Bs that like it come mate with an extra song or something. I would just jam the shit out of it. You know what I mean? So it's like it was always Backstreet Boys alive with the albums. Yeah, it was always Backstreet Boys and NSYNC for me. <laughs> I was like, like, I had everything. I was <laughs> buying them hoes up. Like, <laughs> I was never really into that unless Eminem dropped. So, oh yeah, no, I was. I was into I've the always boy just bands. been like music. Is- <laughs> Music has always been like my thing, you know. It's it's so funny because I always think about like, have you ever been on a dating all... site or anything? But y'all been married Spears. for a long time, so you haven't. But like the old, you know, the <laughs> no, people say no. like, what are your hobbies? And be like, listening to music. And I always thought that was the dumbest shit ever. And now, literally, that would be something I would, I think, I would have to put because <laughs> music is literally like my hobby. Like it's a mm-hmm. huge part of my life. No, it's what we do too. I listen too, to music so... more than I do anything else. Me too. So, yeah, I think that's. You know, uh, it's funny. And, and like, uh, yeah, well, yeah, you said something about dating sites, girl. I, I was engaged to my husband before the internet got really popular. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that I mean, was. Peace. Yeah. Yeah, love I it. love these spoken words, though. Me, Me too. too. Me too. Yeah. Okay, now great. I can go listen to my albums now. My album now. Yay. Yeah, yeah. It's it screens on the album. Us? Oh, I don't uh, even have it in here with me. And I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, I have it right here. Hold on. I don't because I don't. I no. I think it was it. just I, something that was on his. I think it was just. Hmm. I want to say it was just on the Facebook. It's an older one. This is not is. alcohol, y'all. This is actually a, a drink, like a uh, it's a hydration. It's coconut milk and mango. No, it's not. Okay. I don't know if it's on one of the other albums, though. Uh-uh. Not that I'm aware of. I don't think of. it is. Like, I don't remember. I mean, it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I think it was literally just on. It was just on Facebook. Well, we'll have to do that one soon. That way we've done them all. Sure. All right, guys. And so just so everybody's aware. So with it being HOG week, um, you know, please stay tuned. Check out some of the new artists that will be coming to the page um, that are HOG um, and show them love and support. Um, You know, because it's kind of what I look at it is Tom's kind of the one that brought us all together. So, of course, we'll have Tom all week. But um, check out, you know, some of these other artists. Um, You know, I think some we've of, heard some of these people are are close to Tom that we're going to be listening to. Yeah, so. yeah. You know his yeah. homies. Tom, Tom might even be in a feature in one of them. Who knows? We'll see. Who knows? We'll see what the future might bring. We'll see. So uh, gonna stay get that tuned for though. Yeah, we're definitely I mean, going to have. Right? There'll definitely be some. Nova. We're going to be the OGs. You'll see. Oh yeah, there'll be oh, yeah. There'll, there'll be people that we know that you know, and then there might be people, the folks that you don't know. So there's people uh, that we didn't you... know that until we until last week. <laughs> right, exactly, so. exactly. What inspired the whole H O G week? It was yeah. it literally right. was right. Yep, we want to spread that word. So um, it'd be nice if you guys can uh, pop into the channel and then jump over there and give them some love too. And then until next yes, time, guys, please do. Peace out. Get your merch at bitterbettypodcast.com.